what's up guys in this video i want to give you more ideas to help you out with your projects so you can actually become a web developer a professional in this year and this is gonna be a bit of a ranty video i was thinking about what i wanted to say for the past couple of years and i've kind of made three other videos but i didn't like them and i'm just gonna rant and here's the problem that we are trying to solve okay you want to become a junior front-end developer or full stack developer you want to learn javascript and you want to make this transition in six or 12 months and you don't want to be the same as everyone else like you don't want to be the same as every bootcamp grad with the same boring ass portfolio or you don't want to be the same as everyone that follows like udemy courses and has the same apps from free code camp odin project code academy whatever is out there you want to be different yeah and that's okay i highly encourage you to do that now here's the problem right until now until let's say last year the idea was to build real world projects okay that was kind of the idea behind you know becoming a successful junior developer without a degree without a certificate now in my opinion i think you need to build real world products okay so it's like one step on top of that so what's the difference between a real world project and the real world product well the difference between project and product is that the product can be monetized okay or it looks like it could be monetized okay so it's actually quite difficult to do right my strategy right now for the time being is to reverse engineer an existing product okay so let me show you this i looked on twitter and i typed in here building public or something like that and then i saw uh chime social which is dead but then i saw these three other um related accounts you know that popped up in there then i clicked on them and then i have them over here okay so now let's let's explore this a little bit yeah so with potion we can create custom websites in minutes all on notion let's just have a look what do you see here let's identify a real world product let's look at this first of all it starts with a landing page okay this is very important the landing page is probably the most important part of your real world product that you'll be making and i'm going to tell you why but now let's look at this it looks legit right It looks like it's a real product with a real use case, with real testimonials, etc., etc. Probably you won't be able to get testimonials if your app is not going to be actually useful. But the idea is that it looks legit straight away, right? Now, if you put this on your resume and then you say, I'm not saying say you've made this, but just hear me out, hear out my thinking process. If you say, hey, my name is Jimmy and I have worked at potion.so and i've done this and this and this the recruiter is going to click on the link it's going to be like the recruiter is going to be like oh yeah yeah it looks legit it's going to look at the description what you've done in their react node database this 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 and they'll be like oh okay this guy or girl is matching the exact person that i was looking to find to get on board for this client and they'll just put you forward and then once you're in front of those you know software developers in in the zoom meeting and then they will ask you questions you'll just say the problems that you've encountered while building this and it's going to be even better if you are working with other people on the same project because then you'll have team problems okay if you can reverse engineer one of these products and you just go on twitter bro just go on twitter search here for building public and then you'll get a bunch of you know projects like this and you can try to reverse engineer them right you can take for example this project and maybe combine it with this one with the scheduler right then you have a different app one that is scheduling tweets on linkedin and on twitter and you can use chat gpt to create those tweets and then with this you can create pictures for your tweets or linkedin posts right now this is gonna be difficult okay so here's what you don't understand 
if you are closer to the finishing line okay or that's what you think if you are closer to the finishing line you'll have some problems okay the first problem that you have is that this is gonna be difficult okay and you feel like if this is difficult that means you are stupid and then you should be learning more technologies to solve your problems in reality the reason why it is difficult it is it's because it is difficult first of all and two it's supposed to take a lot of time and three you don't know your tools well enough okay so when people want experience that's what they are looking for so if you cannot figure it out on your own then how do you expect to get paid to figure this out on someone else's money doesn't make any sense right you don't want people you don't want to pay someone imagine paying me to teach you programming and i'm learning programming while you pay me to teach you programming like it wouldn't make any sense right it, it's crazy and that's how it works you need to figure out this stuff beforehand and i'm telling you this is gonna be difficult and i'm not telling you this to discourage you i'm telling you to warn you because <clears throat> the reason why i want to warn you is because you always hear about these success stories right where people said they struggled and it was painful but then once they overcame all their problems like their life changed right and then you hear that story and then you get inspired right you've heard those stories i'm hearing these stories and i'm i'm pushing through it but it took me a long time probably till last year to understand that that pain it's okay and that's the pain the pain that i was feeling at that moment when i was feeling down that was the pain that these other guys were talking about but i was never a witness of someone struggling like that so i'm telling you that if you struggle with something and if you feel that pain that you know like that disappointment that you want to quit that you want to start something else that's when you should double down on what you're doing because that's the spot where you want to be i'm telling you this i can guarantee you this that if you commit to figuring this thing out you'll crush it because right now i'm honestly telling you like people are quitting left on left and right left and right you have no idea how easy it's gonna be in the next one to two years like everyone is using chat gpt to learn code and they will not learn any code because chat gpt is better than them and then the competition at the bottom is going to be so huge but because you are smart and you are doing the right things building these apps and whatnot then you'll make the cash okay in fact i've never been more hopeful okay i've never been more hopeful for this whole industry and i'm not telling you this because i'm selling a course but i can just see it okay not only my marketing i can see it in all the markets like the bottom of the barrel people that want to make a quick buck and they don't want to suffer and struggle because the beauty of life is in suffering and struggling i know it sounds so cliche but now i can see it now i understand it okay the beauty of life is to struggle not to be happy and there are a bunch of people that buy all these courses. Oh, make $10,000 per month with ChatGPT using these five plugins. I see them on Twitter and I start to like block all of them, right? But I see that a bunch of people are falling for this. They regurgitate the same stuff, the same content. People in coding, they're using ChatGPT to learn code and then they, are, they will be so limited because their brain didn't develop but you are doing the hard work and you are understanding the concepts and how to use the technologies to create what you want okay that's how you become a master at this thing because you know there is a you know what's a party trick when you learn how to you know draw a circle and then two triangles and then two other circles here and then a semicircle and that's it you've made the cat that's a party trick. That doesn't mean you know how to draw. You just learn the pattern, you apply it, but you don't understand how to draw. Well, that's how most people treat programming and coding. They just know a bunch of patterns. They never actually spend the time trying to understand this. And then they get into a ultra competitive job market. And they think they'll fool anyone. They are only fooling themselves. 
That's it. Bye-bye.